Yo. Face cam on in 30 seconds, and I'm not even kidding. I just got an email from my student loan servicer. They're like, hey, you got a payment due. In the beginning of August. It's like, dude, it's July 12th. Like, what What are we doing? Oh my god, my hair looks insane today. Should I put it up? Um, you can't really see my hair because my headphones. But look, 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 there's, there's this one little strand that's acting out today. I don't know. I'll probably put it up later. I'm trying to have my hair down. Oh my god, I hate it. Anyway. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 10.39 a.m. on July 12th, 2024. It's Friday. And you know what we're doing? We're continuing that stupid Papa's game run. So the plan is simple. Playing all of the original Papa's Flash games, all 14 of them. Right now we're starting game number 10, which is Papa's Donut Aria. And I think from this point on... Now, I literally have never played any of these upcoming Papa's games. So this is all blind reacts. And you know the drill? If anybody subscribes or shares bits, we'll skip the game and move on to the next one. Also, if you cheer 500 bits, you can get the exclusive piece in Bot TTS new function. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna see how far I can get. Also, um, last time we did Posteria for like four hours, and I said, guys, if the save saves, then we'll pick it up. Well, I forgot that I did an incognito tab, so that save is gone. Cause I, cause the way that the Papa's game saves on the Cool Math website is through cookies. So if you clear your cookies, you lose your save. So, I'm doing it in a different browser, that way if we don't beat... I'm doing it in a new browser today, that way if we don't finish it today, then we can hopefully pick up next time. But yeah, also, I think it was last week, I was like, I was itching to play a Papa's, like just offline for fun. You like, see? <sighs> to see how long it would realistically take me to like unlock Papa. So I did a whole complete playthrough of Papa's Cupcake Aria. I have screenshots on my Twitter. And it took me about 10-ish hours to unlock Papa. And that was like me fully locked in throughout the week. So whenever we do the streams where unlocking Papa in every single game in every single game, it's like probably 8 to 12 hours per game. But yeah, but we're not we're not doing that this year. You know? We're saving that for when I'm a blank candy and everybody pogs when I put cherries on Sundays, you know? So yeah, so we can go ahead and get started. Oh, also, I forgot. Almost forgot, rather. Today's stream is presented to you by... By... Peace and art my Shopify.com. Oh my god, guys, click the link in chat, go bookmark my website. Blog post coming soon. Also, new artwork coming soon as well. You can click on the top menu. Blog section is below, where you can learn a little bit more about my artistic process and all the past streams, too. Ain't that cool? So, guys... Oh, also, this is new. If you are a current Twitch subscriber, tell me during a stream and I'll give you an exclusive coupon code for $17 off your purchase of $20 or more. Ain't that sick? It'll basically play for shipping. Also, we did sell a painting yesterday. Shout out to Mac. Thank you, Mac. Probably gonna work on Max painting during... Maybe tomorrow... I'm probably gonna be free tomorrow. And I do paint orders live on Twitch. So let's see if this one shout out. Yo! Click the banner. Click it. Make sure you're following Peace and underscore art on Twitch. Art streams there sometimes. Smile. Whenever I get an order, we'll go live. Whenever I start carving the stamps, I'll do it live. Okay, enough stalling. Let's play this stupid little game.
Also, I think I changed the windows a little bit better. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not doing full screen mode. Hopefully this works. So this is Papa's Donut Aria from this point on for the last four games. I haven't seen any of the gameplay for it. But the donut one looks cute. I hope it's like the cupcake one where they all boil or bake for the same amount of time. Please? Because I love that workflow a lot. It's very linear. I don't like having to go back and forth too much. But I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of donuts. Let's play. Tony or Scooter? Both tomboys. You know what? We love Tony. Your visit to Powder Point. Sky Ninja opening this week. Papa's Donut are we up? Now hiring. Earn tips, ride the rides, free line jump pass. Wait, that's kind of huge. Actually. Do even Disney workers get that benefit? Okay, Tony's sideburns are a bit crazy. No! Reopening next year? Dude! Tony, just like, quit the job, man. You don't- you're not legally obligated to stay there, right? Surely. Oh my god. <laughs> hey yo, it's James. Whoa, he's talking really fast already. Wait, people can order three donuts? Oh no. The first donut needs regular dough. Drag the ball. The second also needs regular. Last also needs regular. Oh, that's a cool animation. First donut is a traditional shape. Second donut is round. Oh wait, I'm actually placing the circles. Why did I think donuts were boiled? Oh yeah, bagels are boiled, donuts are fried. I wonder if the ones with the holes in the middle take less time. Wait, no, this is gonna be like the burger one. No. You guys, I don't wanna do this one. <laughs> All your fried donuts are waiting onto the shelf to be used with orders. Drag the three donuts ordered onto the bill tray below. Be careful to grab the correct donuts for each order. Okay, so the order does matter. Each donut needs icing on top. The first donut needs chocolate. Drag the donut into the icing vault. Try to center the donut over the vault before dropping it in to dip it. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, now it needs clear. And powdered sugar. Okay, the icons are kind of hard to differentiate, I'll be honest. After you've finished icing the donuts, it's time to add yourself some toppings. The first donut needs strawberry. It's okay if some dribbles outside the donut. Thank goodness. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> oh no. Blue moon drizzle? Yo. Oh wait, that that one's kinda clean. It is nice how that people can only get two toppings though. I do really appreciate that. This one is going to be difficult to top since you're not doing just like a uh, left to right. You're doing circular motions too. Oh, Maggie. The chocolate and strawberry? What? Maggie wants a regular and two chocolate. A regular, chocolate, chocolate. Is that topping? Okay. 
Oh, I need more circle tools. We're definitely gonna need to get the upgrade, or probably timers first, and then the speed boost upgrade. These donuts take a while. Oh my god, I wasn't looking. Oh wait, the timer's on the top row too. I didn't even notice. Wait, you guys can't see my cursor, right? Oh wait, you can't see my cursor, I lied. Nice. Okay, so don't want to line up right to left here. The chocolate round donut is strawberry jelly. Drag the spout of the donut before icing. Oh. Oh yeah, that's not that bad. Oh, clear. I thought it was sugar. It's clear glaze. It's very hard to see the decorations. Kinda clean, kinda clean. Why is there a purple coconut? I've never seen that. Okay, building is hands down the hardest part. Ooh, that's kinda nice. Let's see, Maggie. You know how hard it is to work for a Papa's franchise. Okay. <laughs> oh, not a good first day. 96? Oof. I do like the music in this game a lot. Papa's Raceway. Finally a new minigame. Collect coins to go faster. Keep using my mouse to move. Cut him off. Ooh, clean. All the Mario card is helping. Oh, shoot. No! No, no. Wait, it's going so fast, it's making my eyes bug. Okay, this mini game is kind of fun. Oh shoot. No! Oh my god. Wait, I'm kinda cooked. You know, that's like normal piece in gameplay. A dollar forty though. Inflation I see is kicking in. See, like, I'm getting cooked now. You know, I don't think I'm getting the bonus prizes in this one. No holiday yet, so there is still a ho holiday mechanic. I can't decorate? Why not? Another day, another dollar. L ads. Guys, who wants to buy me a cool math subscription? New customer, Alberto. Strawberry icing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> it's like the screen. Wait, how do I pause? There we go. Because the game isn't cropped right. There we go. That's like a little bit better. Okay, I'm locked in. My first real day on the job. I'm sorry, I cannot get over his sideburns. <laughs> um... Basile? Yeah, I did that right. Okay, thank goodness. Now we wait. I should probably check my lobby. Yep. Hi, James. In Papa's Kapikaria, James was my first gold customer. I should probably order people's lineup like this. Three seems like a weird amount of donuts for one guy, you know what I mean? Like, why not an even two? Oh, I got a flip. The line to flip on the timer is very, very faint. I don't appreciate that. Devs, can you fix it, please? I do know. Whenever they imported all the games to, like, mobile, they changed the UI so much and they look so much better. I like the little boop sound. Wait, I got Oh no, I forgot about closers. Well, this guy looks pretty cool. I know I am gonna get confused by the end of this. Okay. Um, strawberry? There's a lot more icing than I thought there'd be. Chocolate chips will cover up my mistakes. First order of the day? Please help out till you know my pain. 91 ain't too bad. Those are almost done. One more topping. Okay, that might be the cleanest donut I've ever done. I do wonder what this moon flavor is. It's kind of like unicorn flavor. It's like, what does that mean? Do they have unicorns just like shitting in the factories? Like, what's going on? Okay, that was horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> the joke and the choco chip placement.
the donuts look so pretty though in this game. I love seeing all the graphics like slightly increase with every new addition. Rudy, don't be rude. He gave me a 97? Wow. Wait, I just noticed the topiaries are donut shaped. Now a rank two trainee. Slider escape. I think. Oh no, screw this game. Oh, I just I just clicked off my screen. Okay. Oh my god, I did it. I was lost. goes down. Easy. smart now I can go to the shop let's see doorbell cook boosters are 120 that's normal oh I love how they have the page number now that's huge oh wait the alarm is better only $80 for the alarm that ain't too bad That's kind of nice. They've really increased the menu. Because one complaint I had when I was playing more of Cupcake Aria is that you couldn't filter. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. Oh my god, filters on a website is huge. UI designers, keep that in mind. Okay. Man. The menu is so nice. Okay, I'm gonna purchase the bell first. I feel like that is most important, and then I'll work towards the alarms. Ooh, diamond wall. That's all I got. You know what else I got? To tell you to follow the channel, because guys, we're 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button, you get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. <laughs> another day, another dollar. L adds. No, we hate Adobe. Dude, I, I really still genuinely hate how Adobe is embracing AI. Akari, she beat my ass in the racing game. Mini marshmallows and a donut? And you know those mini marshmallows are gonna be like hard as heck. Sorry, the scream, I can't get over it. <laughs> just a jump scare at the start of all your work days. 
Oh, that was almost so crooked. Plus you? So of the half circle color indicators. I think those are a lot more clear than the bottom bars. Ooh, the Boston cream! I'm gonna wait for these to flip or to take out. Oh shoot, I didn't flip these. <laughs> oh no. That could have been the most perfect swirl ever. I definitely need the flip timers. Oh, it's so burnt! Okay, we're gonna serve this one first and then go from there. Akari's been waiting all day, literally. Wait, still 100% wait score? Okay. Oh my god, there's so many donuts waiting. Sorry, I keep moving my cursor and I keep hitting the menu. Also, what is this cross-contamination? We're using the same tool for every donut? Toppings, I think you just have to go diagonal. You can't go round and round. When I was looking for entry level jobs, I didn't apply to like any unhealthy food place besides Subway. Subway is marketed as like a healthier food fast food, but like. It's zooted with sugar and sodium. But anyway, I didn't apply to like any cake shops or ice cream shops because I knew I would just want to eat it all. And I didn't necessarily like lose weight when I was working at Subway. I lost weight because like I was working too much, not because the food. At least all these customers know that donuts take a while to make. We haven't gotten any Karens complain about waiting for too long. Watch this perfect sprinkle. Watch this perfect sprinkle. Okay, that's not too bad.
You know, I'll say, I don't mind when, like, things are topped poorly. I kind of like eating the little toppings from the paper tray. It's- I feel like I'm scavenging. <laughs> Plus, like, I don't, like, post pictures whenever I go out, so it's not like I'm posting for the gram, so, like, if stuff doesn't look super clean, I don't care. And you know what? Controversial take. I think clear gaze. <laughs> Controversial take. I think clear glaze is so disgusting. I I just can't get over it. When I was younger, somebody told me it looked like snot, and like I couldn't unsee it. You know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna get some nice frosting, not some clear glaze that is just powdered sugar and water. I want real frosting. Ninety-seven percent, that's pretty good. Rank three Mbalo Master. Freeze putt? Oh no. I'm really bad at golf. What in tarnation? <gasps> really? Bogey, is that a fail? It should be a miracle I even got it in. Oh my god. Okay, hey, watch this. That's close enough, I'll take it. Okay, par is five. I have a bit more faith now. <laughs> yup. Yeah, birdie! I only got $24. Yeah, why would you have a bright green counter? It's so ugly. Okay, this poster has a luau bonus. Wait, what is this? It's funny. Because when I was playing the Papa's game, like, normally on my own time, I got targeted ads, right? And I kept on getting ads about plan b because it would ask me well, like how old are you are you male or female and then are you are you one of them was like are you unemployed and i said yes and i literally got a military ad <laughs> right after and then the one where it asked me like what my gender was i got a plan b ad <laughs> whoa the diagonal is wild And I was like, dude, I'm playing on cool math games. Like, why is it calling me out like this? It knows that I'm stalling and not working. I'm playing cool math. I have enough time to take an order. No, I don't.
The donuts take a long time to fry. Hi, Electra, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, these all need filling. Oh my god, it's oozing! Ew! Oh shoot, I f I'm forgetting to flip! Uh, I'm gonna flip my rocker! Okay, watch this. <laughs> I don't like these long bars. I don't like them as much IRL either. I'm a sucker for a cream filled donut. Like, don't take that like any other way. It's just my preference. Oh my god. Nobody say anything. Ew, it's Quinn. I'm scared. I don't know why I said ew. I'm sorry, Quinn. Toppings at an angle to cover the entire John. Shut up! I know I messed up the last one. I tried my best. I love how the tutorial will always pop up whenever you mess up. It's so passive aggressive. I'm trying! Dude, it's like my third day. What do they want from me? I still haven't gotten the timing right. I'll get it, don't worry. It's because when you move your cursor quicker, like, the topping comes out faster, too. It's weird. Dang, 92, that's pretty good. The strat is, I'm gonna have to buy a bunch of posters that increase my build score. Boop. Okay, I really like the build station right here, the dipping. Stop! It's calling me out again! Seriously. I'm not that bad. If Papa Louie really wanted, like, good workers, he wouldn't just hire randos. That was almost so clean. Dude, I don't think I'm ever gonna get a perfect score with the donuts. It's not happening. Also, it's 11.18. Make it late 11.11. Joke, everybody. Or not joke. Wish. <laughs> Long John... I, that sounds like a weird title. <clears throat> Hallway Hunt, easily the worst minigame.
Man, that was so difficult. I wish to get a job. You know what? You can use me as a reference. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's a really good avenue? If you've been, like, out of job for a while, or if you just want to, like, start doing things, is volunteer somewhere. Like, don't do that in the hopes of, like, getting a job with that specific organization in the future. Like, just to, like, keep yourself- oh, wait, I lost. Just to, like, keep yourself doing something, because if an employer sees a gap in your resume, they're obviously going to question it. But as long as- or take some like community driven classes like an art class or like a cooking class you have to show that you're always learning because like if you're at an interview and they're like oh what have you been doing the past six months when you've been unemployed and you're like nothing smile that don't look good so always be trying to do something in the background and also get that unemployment check baby if you're eligible i don't know Another day, another dollar. What? Is this like a Switch ad? No, they're trying to hack my Switch. No. Time to hire some help. The dining room is now open, and you'll need to hire a server to help take orders. Ayo, hey, Scooter. Ooh, chocolate mousse filling? Oh my god. I was gonna say, who would get donuts at an amusement park? But don't they have donuts at Disney? i never been to Disney. I do want to go at some point, though. And dining. That was perfect timing. Okay, those are both chocolate and smelling. I'm so mad right now. I want to remake it, but like, I don't have the time. 
You know, we're like an amusement park. What do people expect? I've been here for four days and I'm running the shop by myself. I'm not saying they should like expect shitty food, but you know. You know. I think I put them on the tree in the wrong order. Wait, what? The whole donuts can get filling too? Wait, what? I've never seen that. As long as my other three building mo- Oh yeah, the, this is the burnt order. <laughs> Don't worry, they're supposed to be this dark. It's like an M with an extra loop. My new signature. M for peace and of course. Wait, this is a Barbie movie! Dude, the long bars are so dumb. Oh, 76 for I? I was hoping she liked a burnt donut. Dang, 96. I'm getting better. It's funny, I have ads in my sidebar. It's cropped out of my Twitch scene. But it's literally an ad for Streamlabs. <laughs> it's like, bro, I'm already live. <laughs> How do they know? Pop dart? Okay. Oh. Okay, this one's easy. Apparently not that easy. Oh. Yep. $98, I could finally buy a timer. I assume the one on the far right is gonna be alarm number six, and I usually queue from the right first. For decorations, I like to put the matching holiday decorations, but since there's no holiday, we'll just put whatever we got out. Boston cream bonus. 
No holiday yet. It's really funny because Adobe made their AI program. They called it AI Pirate. And I think legitimately the only reason why they did that is so whenever people try to like download or pirate Adobe, their AI software comes up as the first result. Shannon! Oh my god, look at Roy! He's so cute! Oh my god, are they kissing back there? Editor, zoom in. Okay, putting the balloons in front of the customer was dumb. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I hate Adobe. Me too, man. Me too. But their software is so good. But, uh, dude, I, I want to transition to a new software. I really do. But they got a firm grip on me. But you know what? Adobe's um, drawing program, they have a free version for both um, tablets. Or only for- they have a free tablet version and then a, a premium desktop version. It's kind of like... What you call it? What's the drawing program they have on iPads? Procreate? It's like Procreate, but it has a lot of the functions that Photoshop has. And it'll automatically import your files to your actual Adobe account. So if you work on your tablet, you can easily switch to desktop. This is not an ad. It's just like genuinely a really nice drawing program. And you can easily like make vector images too. It's huge. I've been practicing with it. Oh my god, it's so nice. This is not an ad. <laughs> we hate Adobe. But some of their software is pretty lit. Hi Alien, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. He watches perfect timing. Hell yeah. I really am, like, kind of looking forward to Adobe's downfall. Because whenever they announce that, oh yeah, we're gonna scrape your artwork for AI now, you can't opt out of the terms of service, I cannot wait for, like, big production companies to be like, oh yeah, fuck Adobe, we're not using her no more. We'll probably see a follow-up from that in, like, the upcoming months. I thought you were sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. You know what's actually really funny? I gotta flip these! <laughs> you can get sponsorships through like stream labs or stream elements, even if you're like a one viewer streamer. And they always have Raid Shadow Legends as like a default sponsorship. So I think it's hilarious. I'm not gonna take it. I told myself I'm only gonna take a sponsorship if I get like a guarantee bag. Like a lot of sponsorships that companies will offer to creators, both large and small, is like uh, royalties. So like for every single sign up or purchase made with your coupon code, we'll give you like 1% or 10% or some shit. And that like, that's not paying for the potential hours that you're playing it on stream or the hours it could take to like make a video or an ad for them basically. So like, guys, you're not seeing an ad on the Peace and Channel unless like, I got a guaranteed like flat rate bag fee from it. So if I send 10,000 bits, will you take it? Imagine. Nah. No, wait, wait, are you like secretly a Raid Shadow Legends representative? <laughs> that would be really funny. Dude, imagine. Is this order done? Oh yeah, it's done. You should have put no smiley face. <laughs> Okay, I, I definitely think the donut one is one of the more harder mini games. Or not mini games, game modes. I have to be locked in. I know I said the stream isn't sponsored, but you know what? You can help sponsor the stream itself by subscribing. You're not trying hard enough. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You can sponsor the stream by subscribing for $4.99, just 5 or no, $5.99, just $6 now. Sorry, I forgot. Elf Switch. Um, subscribe and get ad-free viewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. 
click subscribe, see if you have a free sub available. And if you cheer bits, they can move on to the next Papa's game. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Sorry, I'm sorry. The flash occurs whenever I switch scenes. It's just my capture method. Okay, I'm back in. Oh, another thing. If you take a sponsorship and let's say the company gives you the product for free, quote unquote, it can kind of like screw you over when you file your taxes because a gift is whenever you like receive something and the person who gave it to you doesn't expect something in return. But let's say, for example, a clothing company is like, hey, we'll give you this dress for free, but you have to make an ad for it or you have to make a, tw a Twitter post about it. That technically counts as payment. So, like, when that company files their taxes, it counts as, like, a actual expense. And when you file your taxes, it would count as compensation. So, like, if that dress is worth $2,000, that counts as $2,000 of income for you. Good thing I don't pay taxes. <laughs> Winky face? Yeah. FBI, don't watch Alien now. They're safe. <laughs> I, I think... Or you only get, like, taxes withdrawn if you're above poverty level, which... Guys, my Twitch income, to be honest, is not above poverty level. <laughs> I actually made less money my second year on Twitch than I did my first year. I don't know why, though. It's because I farmed a lot less. Like, if you look at my older streams from, like, 2022, I, like, I did a lot of sub-gift incentive streams. Kind of like today, but I did them like what I did once a week. We did a donation incentive stream, I think. But I've like cut back on that. You know, I like farming, but I don't want to farm too much. Wait, what happened? Wait, did I build the wrong one? No! Oh, I served him the wrong donuts. Um, um, what do I do? Should I just reset? No, it's already fucked. It's already screwed. Ah, dude. <laughs> I'm watching you on the Walmart TV. I hope you're joking. But. If you are experiencing homelessness, see what resources are in your local area. I know some people who have struggled with finding a place. The best friends can do in that situation is support the best they can. Picture to my head like a little fire PNG. I'm a moose master. Wait, I love gambling. They lowered the speed of the power lights. Why are these black streak streak streaks? No holiday yet. Still a brokey, just like real life. If this is another Adobe ad, thank God. $120 a week. I love poverty wages. Wait, $120 a week? 
How many hours is that even? Wait, are they dating? There are some ships that I never would have expected in this game. <laughs> yeah, new lore! <laughs> I remember, it was like three months ago, I got recommended a YouTube video that was talking about like, the Papa Louie lore, like the whole universe lore, and it was two hours long. I got like one minute in and I was bored. I was like, I can't do this. You know, I like the games, but I don't like them that much to watch a two hour lore video. My sister the other night was telling me that I should make es like video essay type videos and I was like yeah I could but like people only watch those if they like the topic they don't like it or they don't watch it because they like you you know I want simps in my chat room type one if you're a simp type two if you're a fake fan <laughs> become the next sniper wolf just like oh my god reacting to tic tacs that like I don't credit That could be a meta. I mean, I for the most part avoid React content for now. I used to do like you laugh, you lose on stream, but then I thought about it, I was like, I kind of feel bad reacting to stuff that's not mine. And more often than not, the actual VOD on YouTube would get copyrighted. So monetization wise, it's not like a good choice for me. <clears throat> The only time I will watch videos now is like if it's one of my own videos. And I, I think I'm gonna stick with that. It makes sense. I think the last time I reacted to a video that wasn't mine was during my birthday stream. And we watched like animal videos, I think it was. But otherwise, not much react content. Oh yeah, you did say it was your birthday on Saturday. Are you gonna do anything to celebrate? Don't leak too much. But like, are you gonna go out to eat, hang out with friends? I'm going to UC fight- wait, that- that sounds like it could go crazy. Like, in a good and bad way. You should, like, run up to the ref and tell him it's your birthday. Like, what's the worst that could happen? I'm the one fighting? Surely. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Alien, can we, can we just assume that like half your chat messages are like little lies? <laughs> Maybe. Wink. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm fine with a little bit of baiting in the chat, but like don't don't like lie about anything that's like could be harmful or mean, I guess. I think one of the funniest bits that a viewer pulled up for a long time was two of my viewers are like dating and for like a few months before they like admitted to it they would, like, fake flirt in the chat. And they were like, oh no, it's a joke, it's a joke. But then it was real. I was like, oh my god. It's a crazy bit. Is faking my fighting career mean? No. Oh wait, this is what is tripping me up. Because sometimes the donuts on the bottom row, they don't slide over to the right. They just fill the empty spaces on the shelf. So, like, I actually have to look at the shape. I know that's pretty, like, clear, but I didn't realize. 
I thought they just auto-slid to the right. I think a joke that would be mean to lie about... Uh, a joke that I'm seeing, like, which is, like, the current meta in Squeaks' chat, like, people are joking about, like, their grandma's dying. Like, for some reason, that's the joke, and it's been, like an ongoing joke with like TTS and chat messages for like two months now and like it's kind of funny because somebody will donate and be like my grandma fell down the stairs her funeral is tomorrow can you wish her like can you give her blessings or something and like it's obvious because like tens of people will donate the same thing throughout the day and it's like it's obvious they're lying <laughs> like that is insane <laughs> but it's gotten to a point where like it's obvious that people are lying about that so then, he will just like laugh because he knows it's fake and then everybody's like getting like fake mad because they're like, why are you laughing at somebody's dead grandma? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I think I would consider that to be like a mean line. What's my favorite donut? Ooh, okay, okay. I'm a sucker for like any donut that has fillings like Boston cream, jelly, mousse cream. All of these fillings are the best. I will never like actively seek out a donut. I also haven't tried like any of the fancy bougie LA shop type donuts. But you know, I gotta stick with the classic jelly donut. You should react to Dr. Disrespect news? I've already given my opinion. L Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> w piece. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know, that's why, like, what it comes down to, I don't think anybody should have direct- Oh, wait, I gotta lock in. I don't think anybody should have direct access to their viewers, and that can mean, like, being able to message or contact viewers directly. That's why I don't have a Discord. And if I ever did have a Discord, like, in the future or something, it would only be 18+. plus. Wait, I can't find the french fry. Wait, no! I'm locked in. Because also, if you think about it, what are you gonna talk about to, like, somebody who's, like, in school still? Like, what are you gonna relate on? Like, what's the point of, like, conversing? Wait, I can't- I can't find shit. <laughs> you can talk about math? Dude, I graduated college last year. <laughs> dollars oh my god um buying all the alarms sound the alarm because like for my chat room it's 13 plus which is twitch tos because like i understand that a lot of the games i play are like meant for like all ages or like younger ages so like i'm fine if like high schoolers watch and chat but like my context stops at that point Like, I know there's some streamers who have discords and they have, like, a separate, like, under-18 section, but it's like, I just don't want that at all. Like, I don't, I don't get it. What's the AMA redeem thing? Um, ask me anything and I have to answer. For the most part. Unless it's weird. I'm moving this balloon because I forgot. Blue Moon Drizzle. Oh, that is too blue. I'm blue. Another day, another dollar. Adobe, more like Lodobe. Thank you for redeeming, Alien. We'll do that calligraphy at the end of stream for you. So if you can't watch till the end, just watch the end of the VOD whenever the stream's over. Smile. Wait, I- wait, I forgot- Wait, I forgot the channel bar redemptions. Let me disable those. I'm sorry. No, I forgot! Stop! Stop! You're wasting your points! 
Stop! <laughs> okay, there we go. Saved. Saved. I was gonna do that this morning, but I forgot. <laughs> okay. No, it's gonna get annoying. I don't want it on screen. Nice try, sucker. <laughs> Thank God those weren't sound alerts. Okay, now most every single fryer has a timer, so I can stop, like, stressing out about the timers now. Yo, Akari brought a different girl today. You know, I'll admit it, Akari's kind of cute. I do have an LGBTQIA tag, don't worry. I bought all the channel points I could afford. Nice. You know, it's been a long time since somebody has redeemed I Will Sing a Song. It's been like over two months, I think. Okay, the timers are definitely helping out a lot. I'll save up. Thank you. Oh wait, I flipped the wrong ones. Shit. Wait, did anybody listen to Eminem's new album today? I listened to the first half on my walk this morning. It's because whenever I listen to something, I, like, I have to, like, sit down and listen. Do I like Frank Ocean? I don't think I've ever sat and listened to a Frank Ocean song. I'm not, like, huge on music. I'm very much like, if somebody tells me to listen to something, I will, but like, I don't like, seek stuff out. Right now, I'm really into Korean soul. Which is not K-pop. It's like, imagine R&B, but like, Korean vocals. It's kind of insane. Listen to You Know Miles. Another viewer told me that too. And then I just didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a fag. <laughs> My sister's been really into like skin and hair care recently cuz she <laughs> she saw one video about like this 50-year-old like Asian lady who looks like she's 20 and she's like oh my god I need to do what she's doing so we've been doing skincare as usual and now we're doing like hair care at the end of every day so like the past few nights she's been helping me put my hair up in a bonnet and it could be just the brand of bonnets we bought but the bonnets keep falling off when we sleep and I toss and turn so much I don't know what it is but my hair is a bit softer for like the half the night that the bonnet does stay on it, it does help.
I didn't talk about what happened with Sketch on stream, but I immediately had, like, an opinion on it, like, in my head. I think the reason why so many people reacted negatively is because, if you think about it, um, individuals who are queer, it's easy to rally against because it's a marginalized class. And then also, individuals who do adult work has always been discriminated against, like at a societal level. So it's kind of like a double whammy. Like probably a double amount of people who didn't like it. Versus the doctor disrespect situation, where I think a lot of people can see themselves like trying to claim the Juliet Clause. You know what I mean? So like, I understand why it happened. But it doesn't minimize the impact that it had. Like, I know when I first heard the story, I cried. But that's all I'll say about it. People can do whatever they want. As long as they ain't hurting nobody and everything is consenting. And something that I didn't know, Sketch is 25. Sketch is my age. So, like, when he did the work, he would have been, like, an adult adult. So, I don't, I don't give a shit what people do. Okay, I need to lock in. Dude, she's trapping me! I don't necessarily want to talk about the people who were reacting negatively because you should not give attention to those individuals. But it's still okay, I'm skipping this mini game because this one fucking sucks. But it's still really disappointing. Like, dude, it's fucking 2024. Like How are people more like baseline progressive? Like just baseline accepting and more understanding. I don't I don't understand it. But then it's also the fucking internet, so. Don't you play Mario Kart? Yeah. Do you see me advertising as like a Mario Kart pro? No. <laughs> no. Ooh, Autumn! Now celebrating Maple Mornings, huh? What is this? Waffle donut? Oh my god, are Maggie and James dating? <laughs> All you post on your Tic Tac is you winning? Nah, nah, nah. That, that ain't real. I would have to say, like, one out of every, like, 20 clips is me, like, actually winning a game. And then I pog out of my mind, because it's very rare that I get a win. But, not gonna lie, the TikTok clips that I do post of me winning a race do very well. They get a lot of views compared to like the normal TikTok clips, which is usually just me like doing little story times. That's why whenever chat is like, oh my god, you're losing on purpose, you're throwing. Why would I throw when I know like I get rewarded algorithmized when I win? I'm not using the boost because I don't want these to I don't want these to be done at separate times. It will throw me off. Hey, it's Cooper! Because you enjoy losing to your fans?
I wouldn't say that I enjoy it, but I, I do think it's funny whenever you guys type, like, peace I too, bro, when I lose. It is objectively funny. It's because, you know where I'll say it? I enjoy watching an underdog. I like seeing people, like, lose, learn, and then win. I'm a sucker for that cliche plotline. The waffle donut dip looks so nice. That's so clean. Okay, I don't know what's going off. They need to make the timers bigger. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? Um, I know what game you're talking about, Alien. But I don't know what game it was. It was like some type of like apocalyptic title. Like the title didn't match the vibe of the game. You should be able to find it if you go to my Twitch or my YouTube VOD channel and then go to one-off games. Fuck! Wait, what? confusing myself. Como oh, estoy confundida. I'm uh, confused. Okay, I definitely think the donut one is very difficult. This is a very difficult Papa's game. This is not a baby game. Okay, stop. We don't need three timers. Oof. Yo, Rody looks pretty cool. would blink like a, a green color when it's done because the visual indicator of it just shaking since the timers are so small it's hard to tell like which one is going off yeah the timers don't shake when it's done that's annoying devs fix your game Maybe I'm just bad. Okay, watch this perfect icing incoming. <laughs> you know what this looks like? It looks like that one meme. You know, with the sticks? And then one like this? Put it on screen! Screw these long bars.
Oh, Mega Dance, so bad. I've never tried a maple bacon donut, and I really want to. I remember they first became popular. I think it was like 2015 or something. So I remember when it was in, it was when I was in high school. Like they were the rave, like the salty sweet combo. I didn't get it until I tried it. Okay, not the actual maple donut, but like just the concept of savory and sweet. I really want to try a maple donut now with bacon. Wait, this donut with the blue icing is so pretty. This might be my best order yet. Wait, 420. Thanks, my guy. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so smart. You know what else is a pretty smart thing to do? Following the channel, because guys... We're another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in shed. Isn't that pretty sick? Um... Hell yeah. No, don't worry, alien. You're not being annoying. I just don't reply to everything sometimes. I I typically will reply to chat messages if it's like something I can bounce off of. You know what I mean? Wait, infinite loop. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, I gotta reset. I did that wrong. So smart. Bacon. Ooh, are we gonna get bacon donuts soon? get it let's see it's maple season I got a hundred nineteen dollars we should do a stream where chat recommends music and then I just listen to it. But then, like, we don't tell anybody so I'd get copyrighted. I'd be down to do that at some point. 
Have I played Stardew Valley on stream? Yes, I have. It was one- I'm putting my hair up in a second. Um, it was one of the first few games that I played on stream. Okay, I'm broke. <laughs> so, like, it was, like, I think the second or third ever game that I played on stream. And then I think we did it for, like, a one-off- like, two one-off sub only streams. But I've played Stardew Valley so many times, like, offline and then also, like, just on stream where there's nothing else I can really do in the game. I know chat a few months ago was, like, begging for me to make a new save. Oh, yeah, because they had the Stardew Valley update a few months ago. But they didn't have it on the Switch. I did promise chat whenever the Switch update is available for Stardew Valley, we will play it. And you know what? It's not available yet, and it's been three months, so... You know, can't do shit until we get the update. Okay, I'm putting my hair up. <clears throat> Just buy a PlayStation? You think I got money for that? Look at my sub count! <laughs> My sister does have a PlayStation, though. She did say I could use it for stream, but I'm not gonna buy Stardew Valley again. Because chat was also like, why can't you just buy the PC version? Just buy it. I was like, I'm not gonna buy it again. It's free for me? It's not free. Wait, it can't be free. No way. Maybe if you buy it on Steam? No. I don't know about like cross-platform buying shit. It can't be free. It can't. If I were a developer, I would never make a video game free. Because if you think about it, even if you charged a dollar for your mobile game and a million people download it, that's a milli! You know? Ooh, bacon bites! Yeah! Dude, bacon is so good. I can't really have bacon anymore because of my low cholesterol diet. But I had bacon, I, dude, I think it was like a month or two ago because I got a breakfast burrito at this like local Mexican place. Oh my god, bacon is so delicious. No wonder I had high cholesterol. Make a free game, but every time they try and get a, into a building, they gotta pay. Wait, that's like real life, though. <laughs> no, mobile games are crazy, though. That's another huge moneymaker. The most I spent on a mobile game was... I almost said Pokemon Unite. I didn't buy any Unite skins. I got very close to, though. I spent like $200 on Pokemon Go to the polls. The ads on mobile games too? Oh my god. I don't know if anybody watches Chibli. I don't know if there's much Peace and Chibli crossover. But I promise if you like Peace and you like Chibli. But he did a stream, I think it was last week. He has a YouTube highlight of, highlight of it already. But he basically played one mobile game, and then for every single ad he got, he would also play that mobile game. And it was just like an infinite mobile game loop. And I think it was one of the most chaotic streams I've seen for Moon. I mean, Chibli's like a VTuber, but not really a VTuber. I guess faceless creator is probably the best word, but he's really funny. The only mobile game that I've seen in an ad that looks kind of inviting is have you guys ever seen the ads where it's like all these like tubes that have different colored liquids and you have to try and get the same colored liquid in the same tube? It looks so satisfying, but I bet you that game has a million ads in it whenever you play. 
so I can't get myself to try it. Even though it looks genuinely so fun. The timers are truly game changing in this game. Oh my god, Barbie movie colors. It's wild to me that the Barbie movie came out last year. It does not feel like that long. Also, the Mario movie? Time has flown by this past year. You know, I think it's because, like, since I'm not in school anymore, I make my own schedule, like, for stream and stuff. All my days kind of blend together, and I don't know if I necessarily hate it. Like, yeah, I'm not getting a, a rack every day. Like, a real job. A rack every day. <laughs> Man, sign me up for that job. Because, <laughs> like, even on the days where I don't stream, I'm still doing shit. Right now, I'm prepping edits for a separate gaming channel, so like going back and editing all my gaming playthroughs that I've done on stream. And then I'm still looking for an artist. But the problem is, I would not be able to pay, say, an artist. So, it's kind of like in limbo. So like, I have to like get videos done and ready that way whenever I can afford an artist I can just like pump those videos out it's a cop uh oh I'm gonna try long ways. It's kind of cursed, but at least I'm getting more icing on. Look, I didn't spill a single drop. I'm locked in. Bill? That's not too bad. Oh, I can move the donuts if I misplace it before the station. Okay. Nice. I can't, like, yip-yap as much when I'm playing this game, because, like, I genuinely have to focus. <laughs> There's so much going on in the donut one. Devs were really cooking. We'll talk about like what my favorite game out of all 14 is at the very end. But, dude, I'm such a sucker for the cupcake one. Not because like I played the most hours on it, but because it's like one of the few games that has linear movement. Like, I don't have to go back and flip or rotate. The building is pretty easy. Of course the cop is getting donuts, am I right? Fun fact. 
I don't know if this is like a national standard, but in Washington State, our firefighters have to be EMT trained. Like, if a firefighter arrives at a scene, they have to know how to literally save a life like they're medically trained. But a cop does not have to be EMT certified. Like, cops are trained to hurt you, not save you, more often than not. Also, like, firemen and women are usually fit as fuck because they have, like, annual fitness tests they have to do. Cops do not. What is really nice is that in my city now, there's a lot more fire stations than there are police stations. So, like, if something happens, a fireman will show up. Waffle Wrangler. Okay, watch this hole in one. Watch this. No! That is kind of what I wanted, actually. I'll take it. Wait, that was kind of clean. Stop. Thank you. The way I like to decorate my stores is keep decorations that I always keep in the back back row. So like the gumball machines because they usually have topping bonuses. And then similar with posters, things that I will keep up all the time on the left, temporary on the right. Another thing, another dollar. Maple frosting. I am a sucker for a maple bar. Wait, James and Maggie are still talking. They gotta be you dating. Ooh, if any of your clothing has something that matches the current holiday and extra tips. <gasps> That's a new function? I didn't know. I mean, objectively, it makes sense, but I didn't know. I also love how when they're standing by the item they use it, like the gumball machine and also the arcade machines too. This game is so cute and charming. There's a lot of intent behind the design choices and I love it. Thank you. 
this first maple bar looks pretty damn good. Also, the texture look they got for the powdered donuts is so nice. I'm a sucker for like 2D graphics personally. I feel like they're a lot more stylized than 3D can be. Because whenever you work in a 3D medium, there's always like this weird sense of uncanny valley whenever something is lit properly but not stylistically realistic. It's kind of like when the first live action Lion King movie came out. The one that has John Oliver in it. I don't think John Oliver is return returning for the sequel coming out soon. But it's because in your head you know it's not real, so even if it looks real, you can't- You can physically, mentally cannot get over the fact that it's not real. So that's why I can understand the novelty of like 3D graphics, but like stick to 2D! Like don't be breaking people's brains. For this game, I'm focusing on getting orders out quicker. Like, I'm not focusing on frying. Because things can always be fried in the background. I just need to get the orders out quick. Like, see how I finished building this order before I took another one? I don't want people to wait too long. Almost switch the orders, they're so similar. One hobby that I do see myself inevitably getting into is cake decorating. I feel like every middle-aged person tries it at some point. But you know what? I think I would actually be good at decorating cakes. Put me in, coach. I'll try it. Because in order to be a good cake, cake decorator, you have to have a good understanding of art. Because you gotta color mix your icing, if you're working with fondant, you gotta sculpt. Hi, alien. I don't think I'd be good at sculpting with fondant, though. I've never been good at sculpting. You know, I think I would be really good at, like, icing. Like, the script, like, how people write letters, or, like, getting icing, like, the base crumb code. I think I would be really good at that. You know, I'm really good with my hands. Just there's a limit to my skill. You know what I think would be a crazy thing to try? Whenever we have the budget, I will try this. I'm gonna write this down for later. But... Stream every day for a month, and then every day of the month I try a different art medium. I think that would go crazy.
You should do a long story game like Red Dead Redemption, too. Wait, that's what my sister said, too. But I was like, I don't like playing boy games. It's scary. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I used to do a lot of story games on stream. Wait, I have to lock in. Because we're still doing variety, like we'll do random games. Papa's has become a long series. Unfortunately. Spoilers, where are you? Because I used to do one story game a month. I still have a good handful of games like on my Switch that I haven't played yet. Oh wait, they're going too fast. I lost her. Sad. I've watched my sister play Red Dead 2 though. So like I already know what I already know what happens. Yep. I also want to play Ghost of Tsushima on stream at some point. Because I think I've played that game through twice. But I, I kind of want to play it again. I already knew what happened and I cried for 30 minutes and I usually don't cry. Oh. Isn't it crazy? Like, if you think about it. Because, like, film and photos weren't, like, prevalent in history until the past, like, 200 years, you could say. And then prior to that, it was very rare for, like, things to be documented besides, like, written history. I think it's so amazing how technology concerning expression has evolved so much in the past few years like i think we're living in the best generation there's just so many different avenues of entertainment and it's crazy how images and colors on a screen can drive you to feel and that's something that didn't really sink in until i started going to like more movies this past year like, literally every single movie I see, no matter if it's, like, happy or not, I cry. I'm like, this is, like, so beautiful. You know, people worked hard to make this. I don't think I cried during Oppenheimer, though. Now that I think about it, I lied. I was gonna watch Despicable Me 4, but I woke up too late. Damn. We saw it opening night. And... It was pretty alright. Like, visually, Despicable Me 4 is stunning, as always. Illumination always has really nice renderings. But they kind of lost the plot with the fourth movie, I'll be honest. And, it's, dude, what do you expect? It's the fourth movie, you know? Oh yeah, I also cried during Barbie. The movie's been out for a year. But the, the sequence, like, the cliche where, like, the mom is doing, like, her monologue, she's like, you know... Us women, we can never be right, we can never be wrong, like, it's all so hard. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I think we also saw Barbie opening night, and it was... It was weird seeing, like, everybody else cry in the theater, too. I was like, dude, this is, like, such a human experience. Yeah, there's no visual indicator for what timer's going off. That's so stupid. You know what else is stupid? Watching ads. But you know what? I gotta do it. Because guys, we're two hours in the stream. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99. Just, no, $5.99. Just $6. I'm sorry. I lied. Twitch changed the price. I'm sorry. So... If you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Oh. Wait, I don't remember. Where is it? I unenabled, I gift you a free sub. 
I forgot to change it back. There we go. It's because I got my Twitch payout this morning, so now I can afford to give chats up. So there we go. If you save your channel points, you don't get ads. Mail every day. Back in. Now that I've been playing for two hours, I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah, ain't no way I'm scoring more than a... Like, 85 on build. It ain't it. Dang it, I should've checked the fry station! This last one is so crooked. Everything is just going off at the shop, ain't it? I think it's funny, one of the key mechanics of this game is like you watching the customer evaluate your food. Not many stores do that. I know at Crumble they're like, ooh, is this good and then they open the box to the cookie at a pizza place that i used to work at that might end with hut we would also have to do that like open the pizza box and be like oh does the pizza look good sir i think it's so funny like what if somebody says no it looks like trash like what do you do <laughs> like what do you do i think it partially pressures the customer to like give you a compliment that way they end the the, that way they end the transaction with like a positive feeling Cuz like no jerk is gonna say oh that doesn't look like picture perfect. They're not gonna say that Wait that actually could be like a psychology strat I want I do maybe that encourages people to fill up more reviews Wait at the end of every stream should I ask you guys genuinely what you think like did you like the stream smile? Should I start doing that? Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment. Did you like the video? Smile. Nope, that's the wrong one. locked in. Okay, I gotta check something real quick.
Yeah, we're good. You know, I'm starting to think, during the tutorial of the game, I was like, oh, it's fine if, like, the toppings miss the donut and they get on the tray. But, like, I feel like I'm topping adequately and I'm still not getting 100. Like, what's going on? They're lying. I'll take a 98. Maple Master Rank 8. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot if I change my clothes to match holiday, I get a bonus. I need to remember to do that. Easy. Awkward. I can customize both of them. That's so cute. Oh, and they can wear the same clothes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that looks rude, dude. Jacket's ugly. I hope we get more tips now. Ring donut bonus. Oh, round donut bonus. Okay, cool. Another day, another dollar. Mocha cream? I'm a sucker for mocha. I don't like too heavy coffee flavors, but mocha is like pleasant. Oh wait, I didn't customize the other server. <laughs> Oopsie. I think I should keep the Donut Rhea cap, no matter what outfit they have, though. My game is lagging. James is back. Thank you. 
Mocha, maple, and chocolate topping? That sounds like a lot. I don't know what it is. It could be because I scored high in my rats test, but I like food that has a lot of flavor and a lot of textures. But then, I remember when I was younger, I used to like a lot of homogenous tasting things. I like the same texture, like when everything was mixed together. I like when my mouth is entertained. You catch my drift? Like, concerning food, not anything else. <laughs> Uh, clippers don't. glitched. You know, I'm really glad they ported these. Like, they made this flash emulator. So sometimes they're kind of wonky. Dang, a 96? Okay. That's pretty good. Wait, Rattlin is a first time customer? I thought we Oh yeah, I messed up Rattlin's order so bad. They got they almost punched me. I'm sorry. You know, accidents happen. You can't blame me for that. Legit, one of my biggest fears when I did work in service was like a customer coming back and just blasting me. I'm not even kidding. Whenever like restrictions and lockdowns first started, that's when it was le legit the scariest. We, we had some bozos get really mad whenever we asked them to put a mask on. Yeah, like, I live in Lib, Washington, so there's not many freaks. But some, you know, sometimes they trickle over to the Pacific Northwest. It was scary. Oops. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. I got confused. Okay, I topped that perfectly. I didn't spill a single chocolate chip. It's still the same. I don't get it. Maybe I just can't spill topping like on the outer edge, but on the inner edge it's fine. Try not spill. My game is glitching. It's always glitching. Not spill on the outer edge. Okay, 
Nice. Did it actually make more tips today, though? Ninety-eight. Rank nine mocha fan. I made sixteen dollars. I think I did get like a, a bonus though. I just saw an ad for how Stardew Valley and Red Dead Redemption 2 are closely connected. I mean, they're both farming games, right? Except one has guns. And the other has romance. No, there's romance in Red Dead. I think one of the wildest ads I saw, it was for counseling and therapy. And it was like Stardew Valley gameplay. And it was like, you can join our counseling program where you can play Stardew Valley and talk to your therapist. <laughs> it was the craziest head. And no, it did not work on me. I did not sign up for it. Don't lie to us. I think... Honestly, if I would have tried that, like, therapy program, I don't think my insurance would cover it. They'd be like, look at this, what is this woke bullshit? And they'd spit in my face. Oh, I'm forgetting about wallpaper. Oopsie. Bacon shirt? I kind of want it. I love how they have the filter button now. That's huge. This is definitely the most polished Papa's game so far. Another day, another dollar. Ooh, pumpkin donut. Butterscotch? Man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm biking to an hour a day now. It's about 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening. I'm gonna get so swole, guys. You know what? I'll say it. Pumpkin flavor is overrated. The only good thing that's pumpkin is pumpkin pie. The PSL or any other holiday drinks ain't it. It's not real pumpkin. The pumpkin pie that I made on stream last year was legitimately the best pumpkin pie I've ever had. It was so good. Should we make another pumpkin pie this year? Make it like an annual thing. I want to try and make mini pumpkin pies. I think that would go crazy. Because then I can like give it away. Because you know, I think it's a lot easier to say yes to like mini pies than a whole pie. I think my horse in Red Dead has anxiety. I'm sorry. I know that's very real. Like, anxiety is present in animals, but I, I just think that's so funny. I feel really bad for rabbits, because just in general, rabbits are like some of the most anxious animals. 
It's because they're like bottom of the barrel. They're prey for like a lot of wild creatures. We had a rabbit when I was growing up. And it was like the most scared little thing you've ever seen. And you know what? I think that's why if I were an animal, I would be a rabbit. Wait! Shit! I put powdered sugar instead of glaze on one of them. Fuck. Wait, what's... What the fuck? Oh, it's these that are... <laughs> They're both going off. I'm getting overwhelmed. Can we play a different game chat? I know if I had a pet, I would miss it when I leave the house. But like, my pet wouldn't be my whole life. When if you think about it, your pet, to you, to them, you are literally their whole life. You feed them, you take care of them, you spend time with them. I would be so sad if I were a cat and my owner left me to go to work. I don't know what I'd do. But like, I don't want to have a cat that's like, that has the anxious attachment. I don't want to have a cat that like, learns the anxious attachment style. And also, I thought- I legitimately thought about this the other day. Because, like, we're not allowed to have pets in our unit, and that honestly sucks. Like, I genuinely think that if I had a cat, my mental health would just be, like, through the roof. It would be so good. But we're not allowed to have any. But then I also thought about, like, I'm usually pretty quiet. Like, if I'm watching stuff, I have headphones on. I do have my TV on kind of loud when I watch stuff, but, you know, it's just because, like... I'm kind of hard of hearing at times, but on stream, I do pop off sometimes. Like, I've had my roommates be like, hey, Peace, you're a bit loud. <laughs> like, tone it down, please. Like, I would be so sad. Like, what if my cat got scared of me if I yelled too much on stream? Like, what am I going to do if that, like, happens? Would I just have to, like, lock my cat out of my room when I'm streaming? Like, what do I do? Because, like, I don't- I don't want my cat to think that yelling is normal. It shouldn't be. Should I sign my up? <laughs> Should I sign my horse up for therapy in Red Dead? Isn't Red Dead during, like, the... Mid-1800? I don't think therapy was a thing back then. Eighteen ninety nine. I was close. Did people even know to brush their teeth back then? Everybody's teeth in the game is gold. Shit. I mean, grills are back in right now. Don't ask how I know. Wait, what What are you implying there, bucko? Oh, like the color, not that they got caps? Shit. You know, if I let my teeth rot a little bit more, they might turn gold. 98 build score? Wow. 
Also, Trans Bride. My teeth have never been white white. I've tried like whitening strips and like little ointments that you put on your teeth before you sleep. I think it was Crest brand that I used. But, like none of them worked. But like, I don't, I think people who have like super white teeth, it's more freaky. You know, the first thing I look at when I look at somebody's face is their eyes, not their mouth. Because I respect them. And wait, that's that. Wait, I'm also like not hard of hearing. Shit! Sorry, I did not mean to be ableist. I'm learning. I mean, it's, it's really like, weird for me to like think about because I'm disabled myself, right? So like I have a, a different lens than some. I've also been, like, trying to, like, consume more media to, like, know how to advocate for myself and others more. And, like, I used to be so nitpicky about people, like, oh, why do- why are people getting upset about this certain language or verbiage? But then, now I'm becoming that person. Wait, I fucked up. Now I'm the kind of person who's like, wait, that's kind of, like, not okay to say. Like, I've gone full woke. I'm goaded. I saw this streamer who broke up with his girlfriend because she's cared too much. Dude, I don't- I don't know. I don't know about that type of shit. Because it's like... This is why, like, I would never talk about any, like, person I'm dating or anything on stream. Chat would never know until, like, I got married. Like, I would just drop wedding pics one day. Wait, I can't find the carrot. I found it. Because, like, whenever there's, like, a relationship on stream and, like, it's part of content, or, like, whenever people post about breaking up, they're only giving you a fraction of the story. And even from that, people make so many assumptions that, like, if I were in that situation, I just don't want to deal with the smoke. I can't. Okay, I bought all the maple furniture, all the maple posters. And if anybody asks, I have a sugar mama and a sugar daddy right now. <laughs> okay, I should buy some posters. Nah, I'm kidding, I have neither. I'm broke. Oh, that's all the posters I can get? What? That sucks. I guess I should buy a cook booster. Why not? Because something that I've also learned. Like, there are things that I talk about on stream that, like, I'm comfortable with sharing. But then there's obviously some things that I probably will never share on stream or online at all. Because a huge thing that didn't truly sink in for me until like I started using TikTok more is that people will generalize you so quickly and then also people will remember you for your biggest moment so that can mean like a hype moment or like a really traumatizing event so it's like since the internet doesn't give people like enough time to like fully explain themselves and then in turn people don't want to listen to the full story like, I don't want to be known for any trauma that I have. Which, I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot. Like, I, I will always share what I'm comfortable with. But there will always be things that I don't share.
All I know you for is for Mario Kart gameplay? Exactly. That's what I want. I don't want people to know me for something that, like, either something that, like, really bad happened or something, you know? I'd rather leave a positive impact. Now I got the boosters here. Okay, well it kind of sucks that I can't put like three donuts in a row. The boosters kind of dumb. And another thing talking about like legacy online is like, yeah, your current fans and your past fans will know you for what they knew you for of the past, but new people will only know you for your most popular moment. For the most part, I'm very like selective of what moments from stream I do repost. Because for all I know, that one clip that somebody sees it's probably the only clip they'll ever see of me. Like, yeah, there's sometimes where I make jokes that are a bit more, like, risque. Or edgy. But I don't, like... Like, not all my clips are like that, for a reason. I should have clipped the horse anxiety thing. It would have been a funny moment. Yeah, that was a good bit. I'll admit, that was a good bit. good at this game now. But also, Alien, I know you're kind of new here. If you make the best and most clips, you get a gift card. Smile. But if I hate the clip, you get in big trouble. Oh my god. Stop. I can't have a single moment of solace in this donut shop. Oh, it's a Twitch gift card. That way you can like buy yourself a sub or you can like donate to whatever channel you like. You know, I, I offer a gift card in hopes that like people will gift me a million subs with the gift card they earn, you know? Sometimes it does work. Sometimes viewers do give subs to whenever they get a gift card. But the reason why I offer a VIP and the gift card is because, like, yeah, I could go back and clip streams, but, like, if y'all are gonna do it anyway, why not give you guys, like, a little treat? Like, there are some larger streamers who literally pay people to clip their streams. Like, they'll, like, pay the guy to watch the stream and then make clips. Like, not edits, like, just to clip the stream. We're not at that point yet. There's no openings, I'm sorry. But it's the thing, apparently. You're- you're- you're dating Maru in Stardew Valley? Hey, yo! I would always go for, like, the goth girl. I'm such a sucker. I can't even remember her name. Okay, they're doing construction outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Just pretend you don't if you can. Oh shit. There we go. That's the right order.
we're dating her so when we get married so she can do the chores. <gasps> I was literally gonna make a joke about that. I was literally gonna say, in my playthroughs of Stardew Valley, I never had the kid because I never liked the idea of having kids just so you can have farm workers. <gasps> My brother likes Penny. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Anybody who likes Penny likes teachers. <gasps> Wait, this is literally the Barbie donut. Oh my god, my brother said his teacher was cute once. I think you're odd or something. See, I know everything. That's why I'm the goat. Ooh, this one on the far right is perfect. usually stream for usually three to four hours depending on what the game is yesterday i streamed for fucking seven hours like it depends on what the gimmick is like today um let's see it's 113 depending on how many papa's games we get through i might stream for four or five hours because the max we play a game is four hours it's either we go to the next public game and I get a donation, or we just play for four hours and then we end stream. I'm skipping Papa's Raceway, L game. I have 40 buckaroos. Wait, is it a new holiday? No, it's still Maple Mornings. It's been two weeks of Maple Mornings. What is going on? Oh, I can't buy anything anyway. Lamount. I haven't played Last of Us like myself, but I've seen so many people play it. And you know what? I cry every time. Who was that? Okay, one second. Okay, we're good. We didn't leak. I spoiled the game for a streamer by accident. Dude, you should know at this point. No Banksy gaming. Wait, Franco is back with... Mandy, yo, are they an item? I'm trying to think, I don't think I've ever like intentionally spoiled something. The only time I spoil something if it's just jokingly. Like Lion King, Mufasa dies. <gasps> okay, you typing that- I'm not gonna read that chat message aloud. Cause you typing that is technically spoiling it. <laughs> You're doing it again. 
I'm sorry, I have a problem. <laughs> you know, self-awareness is the first step. Watching Twitch on mobile, it's a lot harder to see, but if you watch Twitch on desktop, you can see bonus like little emotes. If you download these extensions, only on desktop though. so confused i know it <laughs> that's why i was like you're like why is there a fish when i type joel <laughs> yeah joel is like a meme emote people just like seeing the fish on screen so they'll type joel i don't think i have a joel chat room though I made you drawing on my name one time as my background, like your phone background? That's so sweet. You know you watch it you watch the stream every day and I'll write your name every day. As long as you have channel points, I guess. I also make art too. Like actual art. Like the stuff you see back here, it's all my paintings. And I technically have an art degree. It's just, I have to pay off my tuition, that way I can physically get my diploma. I have... $4,500 left to pay off. Guys, can we hit our sub goal so I can get my fucking diploma? What is nice though, is that depending on what state you live in, there's different regulation. Like, literally, in some states, if you don't pay off your tuition, you can't request your transcript, like your actual grade, point average. But thankfully, I'm able to. So like if an employer is like, hey Peace, what's your what's your GPA? I'll be like, hey yo, give me that transcript and fax it to him.
one was near perfect, damn it. Give me a hundred, Rudy. Come on. Okay, a 97 is pretty damn good. I was expecting like a 95. Rank 10, Pumpkin Pro. Oh, it's this one again. <gasps> no! Dude. I'm skipping, I don't care. Still maple mornings. Okay, the flat robot goes kind of crazy. nice. Another day, another doll. Ooh, vanilla icing. I just noticed, are these chickens? I made a cake once that had eggshells in it, and I was the one who got eggshells. <laughs> you know what that's called? Car move. I w I'm gonna say deserved. It was an accident, though. Still deserved. It's so... Okay. It's so easy to catch an eggshell, like, before you mix. It's not that hard. Even when I was, like, just learning how to bake. It's not that hard, my guy. Get good, as the kids say. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just roasting you, dude. That's fine. <laughs> what I'll do is, like, if I don't want to get my little fingers eggy, I'll wear gloves. And I find that to be the easiest way to get a shell out. Some people say use the actual remaining eggshell, but then you just get more eggshells in your bowl. It's dumb.
The eggshells add flavor, though. That's just what bad bakers say to overcompensate. This time I am calling you out. I'm gonna wait for these to finish frying and then I'll move them. I don't know why my game keeps lagging so much. I've had a few viewers ask if I would ever try stand-up legitimately. And I always answer, yeah, why not? I'll probably try it at some point. Maybe for a little video. Something that I didn't think about was... <laughs> like, those who watch my stream want to hang out in chat or, like, with me indirectly, right? So, like, theoretically, if you watch the three, if you watch the stream, you must think I'm, like, entertaining to some capacity. But, like, in stand-up, yeah, people want to be there. But they aren't there for you. That's why, like, every time I've gone to stand-up, like, the, the crowd ain't laughing. Because usually, whoever you watch probably reflects your actual sense of, like, humor. But ain't no way every single comic is going to accommodate everybody's humor. That's something that literally just dawned upon me right now. It would- if I ever tried stand-up, it would be a huge ego death for me. And I already have a pretty small ego. I only just now, in the past year or two, built the confidence, finally, to do, like, anything. I am making more tips since I'm wearing maple clothes. It is canon. Thank you. 
Hey guys, almost forgot. It's time for an ad because we are three hours in the stream. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. I mean, $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee, get ad free viewing all month long, get boomed. Man, I had the ad transitions perfectly yesterday, but now I can't do it today. I don't get what's up. Okay, also, I gotta use the bathroom. So I'll be right back. We're going to starting soon screen. There we go. <laughs> Yo, we're saved. I also, peace and light, people cried. <laughs> I had to check the VOD because I didn't realize the ad that I accidentally clicked on opened my Amazon business account. It didn't show anything. It just showed my real name. So we're good. <laughs> we're good. Clippers, you're not canceled. Because like, I was thinking about it. Because like, I, I thought I clicked fast enough and I kind of did. But... I use my business address anyway for my, my business account, so it's fine. But, shit! <laughs> we almost had a rare piece of leak incident. Now, the only thing I leaked on stream accidentally once was, um... My feet. <laughs> but it was like... It was like when I first started streaming, and I showed my feet for like a second by accident. I think... I don't even know if I did or not. I think I did. If you want to find it, you gotta watch every single old VOD. The only, like, a VOD that I didn't save was my first ever stream. I've saved every other VOD since. But my first ever stream was only, like, an hour. And, like, the audio was shit. So I didn't save it. So, like, on my VOD channel, the first ever VOD is technically not my first ever stream. I had so many viewers during that first stream I ever did, too. Such a bummer that, like, the audio was fucked up. Anyway, we're good. We're saved. Okay, we're back in. I got eight tickets. Slide behind the banana? Clean. Ooh, not too bad. Yeah! Dude, I'm so smart. No! 
bogey. Plus two dollars though. The tip amount for the games is higher. You used to get just like ten cents. Not ideal. Ah, it ain't happening. Unless... <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> okay, I, I have to hit... Can I reset? Let me reset. You know, surprisingly, golf has a lot of, like, math in it. Oh, I have to keep going until I get it? How embarrassing. <laughs> Too bad! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it this time, gamers. I gotta hit it right here. game I'm protesting you know what? I'll say it but but is the worst date you can go on I'm skipping I hate that one we're not a hundred percent accomplishing this game it don't matter let's see I got 159 No new posters. I think I should work towards buying the next holiday decorations, right? See if my hotkeys still work. No. <laughs> I forgot. I had hotkeys for my starting soon screen and then my face cam. I forgot I disabled them because they got too fucking annoying. You gotta make your hotkeys like accessible but not too accessible that you're click clacking them all the time. Ordering three donuts to is still like a weird number to me. Like two people getting three donuts? Weird. I messed up. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm excited though, since we sold a painting yesterday, by we, I mean me, shout out to Mac. Um, I was able to get some little postcards printed. Just to like, like little postcards explaining like, what to do with your painting, how to take care of it, that type of jazz. So I ordered those this morning, I was so excited. Ninety-five? That's pretty damn good. I think I would love a food shop like this if I didn't have to deal with customers. Because honestly, that was the scariest part. Fryers weren't that bad. Stovetops, eh. Slicers, eh. But people are scary, man. Just so much. I really hope the iPad versions are better than the desktop though. I really do. I know that the Papa's Freezeria remaster game, the UI looks so different. I was watching clips the other night, I was like, damn, it looks clean as shit. I was gonna play that version, like buy it off of Steam, but it felt weird like playing all the other Flash versions and then playing the regular upgrade updated PC version just for one game. It felt unfair. That's why I'm playing all the original Flash versions. I'm about to get TB? What does TB mean? Is that what the kids call swirlies? <laughs> Tuberculosis? Oh no! In game, of course, in game. It's not real, don't worry. Just um, load your save file and you'll- Lo Wait, load your save file and you'll be saved. But he feels real. That's so real of you to say, my guy. I'm trying to think. I don't think any game has immersed me enough to feel like I'm like literally in the game. It's because like I always have like a disconnect where I'm like, oh, this is a game. I don't care. Like, yeah, it'll make me feel, but like, I never had a Tamagotchi when I was younger, but even if I did, I don't think I would be sad if like, I accidentally forgot to feed my Tamagotchi, you know? Because like, the Tamagotchi isn't real. You know, I had a real pet. I would be a lot more sad if I forgot to feed my rabbit versus the t digital Tamagotchi.
like, if robots took over the world, I don't think I could care for a robot. It's still a robot. Even if it looks, speaks, and talks like a human, it's still a robot. Is that mustard on the donut? No, it's honey. You know, I feel like mustard wouldn't be that crazy on a hot, on, on a hot dog, on a donut. Haven't, I feel like I've seen a video of somebody like making a hot dog with a donut. I feel like that has been a thing. You know, I've said this before, I will try any weird f food combo people suggest. Why not? You know, if somebody likes it, then it must be good, at least. To an extent. You know, I bet like a honey mustard would be better than just straight yellow mustard on a donut. Because, you know, a honey mustard has like levels of flavor, where like regular mustard just takes fake as shit. Dude, I hate my stutter. It's only getting worse. You know, maybe I need one of those medical evals that everybody's telling Biden to get. Vanilla fan. No, I'm <laughs> I'm just, I'm reading the text on screen. I'm reading the text on screen. You know, I'm skipping the mini games. I just want to get through the ranking system. $123. It's Halloween! Time to change my fit. I don't have any Halloween shirts. Sad. Wait, really? There's a Halloween belt. I guess that jacket is kind of Halloween-y. Wait, like infinite glitch. It's like a TikTok transition. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll give him the normal ad. I don't like the jacket. I lied. It's kind of ugly. We'll keep him in default uniform unless there's like holiday variants. This game isn't woke. Tony can't wear the skirt. Guys, we need to cancel Papa Louie. Okay, well, the only Halloween outfit I have is the belt. Ooh, okay, the clothes aren't too expensive. The mask would go crazy. Oh wait, this can stay off because it's chocolate drizzle. Spider in the corner, of course, where it belongs. Always watching. work with that. Now it's Halloween! Another day, another dollar.
now celebrating Halloween. Willow's so cute. Skull Donut? Oh, I'm so scared. Those are screams of terror, not joy. I really do love how there's themed food and decorations for all the holidays. It's really sweet. It kind of feels like a battle pass almost. I think it's also really funny to see the characters in game who do not entertain the holiday food. They're like, I will not try the Halloween sprinkles. I do not want winter candy. I've never played a Papa's game enough to wear the holidays loop and repeat. The furthest I got was Papa's Cupcakeria in an offline save. And I got to New Year's, which is the final holiday. And I didn't go past it because I got all the achievements and I was bored. I was like, I don't want to keep playing. But I wonder, like, does the game never end? I know in some games there's like a final cutscene, but like, can you just play forever? Probably can. But then if you decide to play forever, it would just be like a real job and you might as well just like get a, an actual job. <laughs> Which I already have because technically streaming is a job. I just don't get a lot of money. <laughs> Guys, click subscribe right now. Wait, this might be a, a near perfect build. Okay, that's not too bad. That could be like a 97 build. 91? This game ain't consistent at all. Thank you. 
I think I'll stream for like another 30 minutes because my elbow's getting sore. Too much icing. Okay, that was horrible. <laughs> my performance is dwindling. Wow. She's green. Wait, did you guys see the trailer for the Wicked movie? It looks kind of good. Or if anything, visually interesting. My sister is theorizing that it's a musical, but I was like, I don't care. A musical would still be like kind of fun. I know everybody was pissed about Wonka being a musical. And that's because like the advertising team, like honestly, took it out. They made it very unclear that it was a musical. actually got through all the orders fairly quickly today. Dang, a 97? Oh, even her little ferret has horns. Okay, that was horrible. <laughs> uh, cut that one out. This minigame is surprisingly difficult. Just kidding! Ooh, a bonsai! I knew that I missed. It's fine. I'll take the L. You know who else might be feeling like an L right now? The people who aren't following. Because guys, we are another th another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you new here, click follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? God damn it. And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Well, I got one more ticket. Yeah!
I got 81 du ducks, bucks. Man, not a lot of posters this game. That's why, why my build score is struggling so much. Another day, another dollar. Spooky sprinkles, oh no! <laughs> I still can't get over the screen. <laughs> So funny. Um, I'm sorry, no outside food and drink. You'll have to throw that away immediately. I'm finally starting to memorize the location of where the toppings are. I'm getting locked in. Because with a lot of food type jobs at both that I've worked at, a lot of it is memorizing where things are and knowing like how to use your hands. Because a lot of fast food can be physically demanding, like standing all day, walking around, speed walking, not running around. And also you have to like have good finger mobility. I'm gonna get these dipped first, that way I don't forget. Super, my guy! Can I just take your cat home? Like, I really want it. It's really cute.
Earn five bronze customer awards. I'm speed running, y'all. <laughs> Radolin's costume is so good. A little chin. I haven't played any Red Dead. I think the only part I've had to play, and this goes for like any type of stealth mission in the story game, I have to take over the controller from my sister. Because it's not that she's bad, she just likes going into missions like guns blazing. Like there was this one mission, we were playing Mafia 2. And dude, she, she, oh no, it was Mafia 1, the remake. And she could not do it. But she would get too impatient and just start blasting, or she would go into missions that explicitly tell you to not use your weapon. Because, like, it would immediately end and she would keep using her gun. I'm like, what the, what are you doing? And, like, I'm good at stealth missions. Because, like, I'm not good with the weaponry. I can't aim. I don't play Valorant. So it's really funny. Like, she was stuck on this one mission. For like almost an hour one night. Because she would just not stealth properly. And then I beat it in like 10 minutes. Oh, I got a dip. And I know me, I won't like actively choose the stealth route if there's like an option. Because I think stealth games are boring. Like, I I've considered, like, playing Hitman, but since a lot of it is, like, stealth, I'm like, I, I don't want to do this shit. But I'm good at it. You know, I've been told to stay quiet my whole life. I've gotten pretty good at being quiet and stealthing around. Give me a hundred, sir. I mean, rattling. Yeah, I kind of burnt your donuts. I'm sorry. Wait, did I give- did, I think I gave them the wrong donuts. Oopsie. I was not locked in there. Okay, I think I'll do one more day in game. And then we'll wrap for today. I'm a skull server! I don't like these titles, they're kind of weird. I love gambling. I hate gambling. Yes, I love gambling!
I got $99. Let's buy some drip. Honestly, I think the shadowy shirt is more my style. I don't like wearing orange because, you know, I already have like an orange tinge. It would be like a smurf wearing a, a blue shirt. It's too much. We'll keep them wearing the hat. That way they know I'm a worker. Did I buy anything? I don't think I bought anything. Yeah, I'm tripping. Another day, another dollar. Why am I getting a Scrubs ad? Do they not know that I'm a Twitch streamer? Oh, it is payday. Full moon icing. It's just black. Wait, if it were a full moon, the moon would be white. I'm confused. The branding department needs an update. They need to lay off some people. Of course, Cooper is dating my dream gal. <laughs> I love how you just type in Joel now. <laughs> You've become a Twitch chatter. <laughs> You know what they say, games reflect reality, just don't, like, it, lean into your arsonist desires, okay? Oh, that was almost horrible. I thought the lamp was off, that's what they all say. You know what that sounds like? An excuse. An excuse is R4? Losers. That's from like a 2010 Survivor episode. That's not my true opinion though. Don't worry. Do not ever get black icing on your birthday cake. Because black is not a naturally occurring color, so... It's just a very, 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 very deep blue. So, when you eat blue food, like icing, it's gonna make your fecal matter green. And let me just say, it's really scary. <laughs> like, I, I was scared the first time. It was when I was like a little, little. And my mom had to explain to me color theory. <laughs> My star customer. Oh, that 
that was almost horrible. You know, it's my last day at the job. I'm getting complacent. And also lazy. You know, Aileen, I think you should write the guy an apology letter. That'll make him feel a lot better. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> you know, I've gotten pretty good at, like, keeping a straight face whenever I make a little stupid joke. But sometimes I can't. Surely that'll fix all his property damage? Exactly. Some people just need, like... Folks to acknowledge their wrongdoings. That's literally all they want sometimes. I gotta remember to make my dream donut. Since it's my last shift. I dip that skull so horribly. I'm laughing at the clown, not at anything else. Okay, I gotta make my, my dream donut. Now I love a hollow donut like this. Now I have to make all three, that way the game actually pushes it through. There we go. How do I throw it away? Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, I guess I have to put three through. Oh well. I don't think my apology worked. Make another one. You know, sometimes they can tell when you're being fake.
I have no more apology sticks. I guess you gotta buy some more then. Or maybe you should not go burning down people's houses. I'll say it. Okay, so let's my make let's make my dream donut. So in order to make one, I have to make three. Let's see. So I think uh, my favorite topping on all these strawberry, probably of vanilla. If they had maple, I would take maple. And I'll try the blue. I assume blue is just vanilla. Wait, I didn't put jelly inside. Okay, I would have put jelly. I love jelly. I don't necessarily like drizzle topping as much. It's just extra frosting. More of the same old. I love sprinkles. It's not often you see a jelly with sprinkle. This is a case where I forgot to put jelly in. But I would get strawberry frosting, jelly, and then sprinkles. Just for texture. That's my build. Let's make our final order. It's gonna be a banger. Dang, those are did pretty well. Oh my god, black pink. That was horrible. Zolo's gonna hate me now. That one on the far right, perfect. Literally a perfect donut. Zolo, you better give me a hundred. If you don't... 89! Oh yeah, I think this is the only Papa's game that we've played that I did not get a perfect on. Kind of disappointing. But the building in this game is definitely the most difficult. Well, that was Papa's Donateria. We did about four hours. I think definitely the most polished Papa's game we've played so far for the Flash games. I think also one of the more difficult. I genuinely felt overwhelmed for like the first, I think, weekend game, but then I got the groove. The building, I think, was the most interesting. The dipping and the filling mechanic was totally different than what we've seen. The regular decorating, like the icing and the sprinkle, was similar. But I think this is one of the better ones. I still think Pasteria and Cupcakeria were like the easiest because they had a very linear workflow. But similar mechanic to the Taqueria where you have to go back and flip and cut. You have to keep going back to the cooking station and it's really annoying sometimes. Like you need the timers, absolutely. But Papa's Donateria, really solid. I'll say it. Okay, well guys. Guys. I think I will wrap stream here for today. We got one more Papa's game in the book. I'll also get some music for you guys because we did have somebody redeem their channel points. So guys, if you want me to write your name, all you gotta do is use your channel points. Do it now. Yes, I still like Hassan. He's like still top three for me. I, I very much like Squeaks, though. I think I watch the most Squeaks in Lug Lug right now. I watch a lot of Hassan's highlights, because Hassan's streams are very long. But I love Squeaks. I think Squeaks is live right now. I got a notey. <laughs> okay, so we'll continue the Papa's Games run. Um, soon. But guys, while I'm getting the camera set up, if you could politely... New YouTube video, click the link, go watch it now. I try not saying up for an entire hour. Also, if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Weekly stream highlights and daily clips on the clip channel. Um, plan is simple. Tomorrow, 
if I'm able to, I will stream on my art channel, which is peace and art. My, or sorry, my art channel on Twitch, which is peace and underscore art. You can click the bing. You can click the banner at top of chat that I just put in. Turn that heart green. Make sure you're following it, please. Because we did get a painting order yesterday, so we're gonna paint Max painting live. Mac ordered this painting back here, so you'll see me paint it tomorrow on that channel. There's two of me. Let's see. We have one person redeem. You redeem two colors? I'll pick one. I'll do light blue. their name written redeem now it's so nice my handwriting could never you know what i'll say it calligraphy is one of the easier art forms to get into you can even buy like cheapy pens it's all about like wrist control and like if you want your calligraphy to look good it's about consistency. So, like, yeah, you do gotta practice. It's kind of like when you're in kindergarten, like, riding your A's at the the shoe and the belt line. It's like that. You gotta practice, but I promise, the more you do it, you'll get better. I gotta save my channel points? Don't worry. Keep saving. Okay, guys. I'm gonna wrap here. Thank you for watching any chatter slippers. Thank you for hanging out. Also, we did get a follower earlier today. Thank you for the follow. Plus one! Guys, the plan is simple. Going live on the art channel tomorrow, probably, I don't know what time. Just make sure you're following up notice on for that channel, because I don't go live on it often. And then, on Monday, the special themed week for July starts. And you know what? If you're watching till the end, I'll leak. Watch till the end, I'll leave. <laughs> if you know, you know, but... That's all you're getting. That'll be next week, guys. All next week. So that'll start on Monday, and then July's theme week will end on Saturday with a huge finale. I promise it'll be a banger stream. Saturday, July 20th! Seriously, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a good time. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the art channel. But on this channel, uh, Monday! I'll be live again on Monday. Like I said earlier, make sure you're, you're subscribed to me YouTube. Also, today's stream was presented to you by... By peaceandart.myshopify.com Wait, let me... I feel like the music is kind of loud. That's a bit better. Guys, presented to you by... Peace and... Where is it? My piece in art on my .com. Oh my god, what is this? Click the link in chat. Bookmark it. If you want to learn more about my art process, click on the blog tab and explore a little bit. Look at that. All the past streams and then also some just normal blog posts. New pieces coming soon. I'm hoping in the next week or two, surely. Smile. <laughs> I don't know, I'm busy. I've been editing and shit. 
Also, just another reminder, if you are a current Twitch subscriber, you are eligible for an exclusive coupon code. If you want it, tell me and I'll give it to you. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all on Monday, and if you're an art fan, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Wait, that's the wrong... We're not playing Pokemon. There. Oh, well, Squeaks is left. Okay, final minute. Any last words? Goodbye, guys.